I didn't realize Xavier was taking an animal. Who are you? Don't you remember? Welcome to I'm Your Target Demographic, and today we're going to tell you everything you need to know to understand and enjoy possibly Hugh Jackman's last outing as Wolverine, Logan. This is for people that just need a recap. This is for people that have never seen these movies. This is for people that just want to know the bare basics. This is for everyone. Please share with anyone that's going to see Logan that might need some help. Logan is our title character, also known as Wolverine, played by Hugh Jackman. We're going to cover who Logan is chronologically, which begins in Wolverine Origins. He was born with the name James Howlett way back in the late 1800s. He witnessed his father being murdered by the groundskeeper, and James manifests a mutant ability to extend bone claws from his fists. He murders the groundskeeper and discovers that this man, Thomas Logan, was his actual birth father. Wolverine then goes on the run, taking on the alias of Logan. Logan goes on to serve in the military in several wars and eventually finds calmness with a woman named Silver Fox, who is supposedly killed. Now let's zoom out for a second. Let's cover what Logan is capable of. In addition to the bone claws that can jut from his hands, Logan has an enhanced healing factor, making him nearly unkillable. He can survive gunshots, explosions, nearly everything. Because of this, he's drafted into a covert team that is called Team X, at least in the movies, that is alongside other mutants, including his half-brother Sabretooth, who has a similar healing factor mutation. Logan and Sabretooth were at odds, and Sabretooth nearly killed Logan before going on a killing spree, which included taking out his love, Silver Fox. Logan needed a way to best Sabretooth, so the leaders of Weapon X, a secret organization, put him through an experiment that covered his bones with a fictional metal called adamantium. He only survived because of this incredible healing factor he has. This metal coated his claws as well, giving him his signature weapon. Throughout all of this, he also finds out that Silver Fox is really working for Weapon X and wasn't dead after all. Now we're gonna take a time out here because there is some time travel involved and this gets really complicated. There are several moments that appear differently in the films on different occasions. The latest that we've seen after Wolverine's experiment is from the movie X-Men Apocalypse, where a feral Logan with amnesia is set loose from the Weapon X facility which differs from the story set in Wolverine Origins, which I'm assuming never happened after all this time travel stuff. Not sure. So I assume Silver Fox is still a Weapon X agent, The Wolverine might not have ever discovered her betrayal. It's really unclear what happened and what no longer happened. Regardless, Logan is now on the loose and he remembers very little other than the name Logan and his codename Wolverine that is written on his dog tags. Many years later, he's wandering throughout Canada when he gets caught up in the adventures of the X-Men, being brought in, and it's there that he encounters Dr. Charles Xavier, a powerful telepath and leader of the mutant superhero team. Charles wants to help Wolverine remember his past, though there are many painful things to uncover. Eventually, Logan remembers the facility in Canada where his adamantium is given to him, and he encounters the same man who gave him that procedure, William Stryker. Wolverine? Well, I must admit, this is certainly the last place I'd expect to find you. How long has it been? Fifteen years? You haven't changed one bit. Me, on the other hand... Nature. Stryker is killed and that facility is destroyed. Though there were hints that some of Wolverine's DNA has been salvaged, which will likely come into play in Logan. Wolverine works for a significant time as a member of the X-Men, most notably falling in love with a woman named Jean Grey, who is another powerful telepath who is able to read minds. In the events of the third X-Men movie, Wolverine is forced to kill her as she turns to the dark side and is on the verge of killing countless people. In his grief after doing so, he becomes secluded and a hermit until he is beckoned to Japan by a soldier that he rescued during World War II. While in Japan, he falls in love with another woman named Mariko, but must leave her. You may notice a trend of lost love here, each time wounding Logan more and more, resulting in him becoming even more secluded and less likely to let new people in. Now here is where we introduce time travel. In a future ravaged by anti-mutant machines called Sentinels, Wolverine is sent back in time to the 1970s and he changes the future as we know it. This complicates everything because we see that this results in a new version of the modern day, where Jean Grey is alive, as is the actual love of her life, Scott Summers, who is known as Cyclops. 
Wolverine is shocked to see them, meaning that he remembers the future where they weren't alive. So this brings up the question of what time we'll actually see in Logan. Did he ever kill Jean? If not, does he still remember killing her in another timeline? Did he still go to Japan? What happened and what didn't happen? One thing that is likely is that Wolverine eventually probably took on a leadership position in the X-Men, mentoring students like Rogue, whom he had a close relationship to. We see in Logan that he's basically alone, seemingly taking care of Professor X, so you have to imagine that the other mutants have been killed or he's left them, perhaps again reverting to his hermit instincts. After all of this loss, can he welcome someone new into his life? The only other character that you might need to know is a mutant by the name of Caliban, who we briefly met in X-Men Apocalypse. He has the mutant ability to find other mutants, which might not be good for any mutants trying to stay hidden in our future. We've seen clips in the Logan trailers and pictures that lead us to believe that we'll meet a much older Caliban in Logan. So that should catch us up to now, where an older Logan is beginning to age, his healing factor seeming to slow down. There are scars that seem to show that his healing factor may not be everything it used to be. You can catch Logan in theaters in March, and please share this video with anyone that could use a refresher before you see it on the big screen. Thanks for watching, and make sure you subscribe for other content just like this. Logan, what did you do? Charles, the world is not the same as it was.